All right. Big time. We're gonna we're gonna be able to get reading reviews presented by Marquee, presented by Avi Gorin live. I'm excited about this. This is cool when I saw uh, what Kelsey sent over of what you had oh, to, yeah. had to say about this. And uh, and for anybody who doesn't know, now you know Marquee is a one stop digital operations platform for no touch digital menus and listing updates. All right, Avi, the mic is yours. What are we talking right. about in reading reviews this week? Thank you. Um, so for for today's segment. Uh, I want to touch on one of our amazing clients, Sage Hospitality, multi-unit, multi-concept, multi-state operator, um, bars, restaurants, you name it. A bunch of them are actually in Denver. Uh, so Jensen, definitely go, go check them out. That team does an incredible job at responding to both positive and negative reviews. And we always talk about hitting all your reviews. I'd like to highlight a couple examples from them. I won't read word for word. I'll give you the, the, the spark notes on them. Uh, Poca Lola Social Club, the guests left an incredibly detailed, long review of their less than satisfactory experience. Um, obviously, no one loves to have that happen. But within three days, the GM responded personally, followed up everything that, would they, that they outlined. She wrote a response that's personalized, referenced specific points in the review, outlined next steps, and even shared their email address so that the reviewer could reach out directly to continue the conversation. Amazing way to handle a tough situation, right? And it goes back to that, you know, digital table touch, digital hospitality. The other concept, Red Barber, another sage concept in Denver. The guest was thrilled about their experience, called out bartenders by name. We've all been there uh, and said they love the drinks, the atmosphere. Again, Sage then sent a perfect textbook response, personalized it, referenced the drinks, the atmosphere, invited the guests to come back soon. Um, you know, by writing, we're thrilled that you enjoy the drinks and atmosphere and just instead of just, hey, we're glad you had a good experience, right? It means that they were researching, reading it, and again, calling back to, hey, best drinks in Denver in their reviews. Um, what do you all think? I mean, Sage Hospitality, shout out to Walter Eisenberg, who, you know, brought that concept to fruition. And they they have a strong presence here for sure across a lot of different styles of service, food, beverage. Uh, that concept itself is in a really cool new area called the Dairy Block. Uh, a lot of cool concepts there. It's in the uh, base level of a hotel. And random personal tidbit, during lockdowns, the first event that I went and did was a cocktail competition where I judged at their location. So shout out to them. And Corey was there doing video content and stuff. That was like early days, the first moments of like, like we were putting masks up and down to try cocktails and their staff was so gracious through what we all know is a really challenging moment. So that doesn't surprise me hearing that kind of thing and knowing a lot of people that have uh, worked within that concept. Hospitality first, Sean, what do you think? Uh, well, huge fan of contextualizing, you know, adding the personalization, understanding that what they specifically ordered, if you're not, if you're not listening or reading what they write in the review, then why are you responding to the review? You know, it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. But the, I love the email. That's something that we used to do a lot was uh, taking it offline. I I never respond in private. Mm -hmm. um, I know Yelp offers that feature. I'm not sure if Google offers that feature, but we respond in public. We build in public. We want other people that come to the page to see the review. Um, but there is one thing that I hadn't thought about until. Avi was talking about because we are, we use Marquee and we use Ovation, but Ovation guy gave us a local text number. So we have actually a 619 text number that we can use. So when I shut off the phones, I use this text number for them to communicate with my front of the house staff. But That's now great. I'm going to tell Steven, who's now responding to the reviews, instead of putting the email address, because then they're emailing a platform and then we're saying, would you like a gift card? And that's another communication. We're just going to say, you know, here's the text number, text us. And then that way we can send a digital gift card. So thank you, Avi, for that, um, that light bulb moment of, <laughs> of, of actually going through. So Stephen, uh, when you listen to this episode, guess what? We're changing. Don't put the email address in there, put the, uh, the ovation text number. So, so we can be a little bit more digitally hospitable. And I, I love that because we talk a lot with our review clients. Hey, what is the anatomy of a good review? Right. Mm -hmm. And how do you handle a review response the right way? Personalize with a name. Right. You're taking the time to respond. Personalize with a name. Um, 
you want to address something from the review. Like we said here, con context, being able to call something back. And then one of our favorite things that we've seen with dozens and dozens and dozens of our multi-location clients in our review package is calling out an item at the end. Um, Papa's Restaurant Group gets 100,000 plus reviews a year. They started wow. responding through Marquee. And at the end of it, they're going to say, come back and try our half off fajitas on Wednesday. Hey, come back on Mother's Day. We have a special XYZ item. Calling back a menu item helps long-term local SEO. Next time you're on Yelp, Google gluten-free. Uh, Google gluten-free and Yelp. In your Yelp, search for gluten-free. Mm -hmm. You're going to see in the reviews of the restaurants that are coming up, bold uh -huh. words saying gluten-free. Not in the category, in the review. Your context and your content matters, right? So take advantage of this opportunity. If you're getting hundreds of reviews a month, you should have hundreds of opportunities for content and context creation. Um, and so again, it's thinking about what you want to be found for. And Sean, the reason I came up, a lot of our clients are choosing to use those types of phone text services like that. And it's great. We love it. We love it. So definitely love to hear that. And I'm going to have your account manager follow up to make sure you guys do it. Yes. Ooh, we yeah, the accountability yeah. circle has begun. Oh, yeah, you had us talking about that, Avi, a while back with the local SEO, which I thought was fascinating. And then just top of my head, I, I talked about Airbnb and how you might be able to then attract that. Well, yeah. our guy Joshua Binning at Lucha Cantina in Rockford, Illinois, said <laughs> he heard that and just started reaching out to people. And now he has like two or three spots where he's like the preferred place. They have menus there and all this. So I that kind of approach, just like super grassroots, mm -hmm. as we're all trying to be in the clouds all the time and go to this like macro level and be able to scale and all these things. Sometimes taking them back to some simple local stuff is super smart. And yeah, giving the shout out to those items. Now, I want to make sure that I've seen this before where they shout out items at the end of a review where they said absolutely nothing, a response to a review where they said nothing. So that's not a sales opportunity for you. That's a relationship building opportunity for you. So don't get that twisted. Any restaurateurs listening to us, you got to do the first step with digital hospitality before you can do the second step of being able to retarget them as a future customer. So appreciate that. Kyle. Any, any last thoughts on that? You want to put a stamp no, on this? No, I love that. Um, one of my buddies actually has on his menu, on the bottom right of his menu, he has <clears throat> a text number. They're like, hey, my name is Chef so-and-so. This is my passion. He's got like a little paragraph. But I can't be here all the time. You know, we have all these things. Text me. If, if absolutely anything is wrong with wow. your meal, text me right now. And, you know, he's he loves it. You know, you know, chefs are control freaks. Dude. I mean, I hope he gets a little work-life balance. I, I, I love and hate that. He Who's, smokes a lot of weed. Spot? Give him a shout out. What's the spot? Uh, I'd rather not say. Oh, just say he's, he's, closed, a weed. he's closed on Mondays, so he's got some kind of like that. Yeah. Life. He's got a great life. <laughs> like I said, he's uh, he's got a great life. This guy, and uh, maybe that's because he's allowing people to text him, and he can manage from far away. But yeah, he he nailed it. I think I've 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 seen a couple other places since then, but. Yeah, that's a great idea. People are like, this is great. You know, most people are going to re respond, hey, this is great. Love it, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. he does get the occasional people like, this place sucks. Never coming back. That kind of thing. But good with I mean, the bad. Take I guess. it further. You need to have put, send me your, your emoji that most expresses the experience you had. And people just send <laughs> one emoji. I can get a little weird, but uh, that's the kind of stuff. Like, how do you get people to engage at a deeper level than everybody else? That's white space 100%. So, Avi, ooh, that was good. It was good. I feel like the composition, actually, even when Kelsey sent, like, here's composition, you kind of broke it down, which you did through through this segment. I feel like we need that in article form. Can we just, like, on air right now say, hey, can you guys put that into article form and we'll put it uh, onto the blog? Because I think that would be really good just to see, like, almost like a checklist of you need to make sure that you are going through this process seamlessly because don't skip to the end. Yep. Because then the context gets completely out of whack. How about that? We can definitely do that. I always love an opportunity to put our uh, sales manager's English degree to work. Hey. So <laughs> we will get that done. Kelsey and Todd, it's coming your way. Perfect. <laughs> love, it. love it. All right. Making more work for everybody. You're welcome, Kelsey and Todd. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm.